Wake up, America. This is home of the red, white, and true. State of the Union happened this week, and Trump went on TV to tell us how bad it was. Except for all the stuff that he did. Like saving sleepy Mexican children and giving black people jobs back. Jobs that were probably taken by Mexican people. Trump was truly the voice of optimism, stating, if you work hard, if you believe in yourself, if you believe in America, then you can dream anything. You can be anything. And together, we can achieve anything. That's right, the American dream. Cold, hard facts. And I don't think there's anyone who can't argue that President Trump has proven that anyone can be anything, like a millionaire, or a president, or a billionaire former president. One of my favorite parts of the State of the Union was the way I kept getting reminded of where I live, with phrases like, my duty is to defend Americans, to protect their safety, their families, their communities, and their right to the American dream, because Americans are dreamers too. And we will do it with American heart, American hands, and American grit. Yeah, Trump just gave my caucus member an American boner, which is weird because technically that's south of the border. That wasn't all. Trump also said to the families of two Long Island teens killed by alleged MS-13 gang members, I want you to know that 320 million hearts are right now breaking for you. We love you. Thank you. To which they replied, you're welcome. But I think my absolute favorite quote was this, we are totally defending our second amendment and have taken historic actions to protect religious liberty. Adding, like, bro, you won't even be able to even with this defense. And historic actions are being taken to protect religious liberty? <laughs> Finally! If I learned anything in school, it's that historic actions and religious liberty are two things that best work together. I mean, how do we get this far? Just because some people don't agree with fundamental religions doesn't mean we can deny their right to deny rights to people they don't like. Confusing? I know. That's why we need to boil everything down. Simplify, black and white terms. You either love guns or you hate America. Believe in God or lack a moral compass. Own a Chevy or a Ford. I hear they make cars outside America too, but I never see them at gas stations, so it's probably fake news. Here with more on everything that's wrong with America is senior patriotism correspondent, James Hogan. James, you know America, there are a couple things that bother me putting mufflers on motorcycles, taking cheese off anything, interracial porn, but at the top of the list is any time Mitch McConnell is compared to a turtle. Those strong features, chiseled jawline, how can you look at that and think melting turtle? Let me tell you the real story. This man was born in 1942. He lived through seven generations of progress and knows how dangerous progress can be almost as dangerous as dreams that aren't American. Hitler was a dreamer. And Mitch McConnell is? A dream-slaying son of a bitch. Not like Nancy Pelosi coddling America with profit-free health care. You see, Nancy doesn't know the power of, of money. Did you know that money can get you mentioned on TV? I, I didn't. It can. President Trump gave true Americans that very chance when during the State of the Union, they could donate to the Trump campaign and see their patriotism shine under the bright lights of their living room. The notorious DJT said, it's not about just one of us, it's about all of us, which is why your name deserves to be displayed during tonight's speech. Can you imagine all the Facebook likes that come with this kind of recognition? I, I can. It's very easy to. And finally, I'd like to touch on Mike Pence for a moment, if I could. Oh, uh, well, you don't own a vagina, so feel free. Sounds good. Well, no man can serve two masters. Vice President Pence has found a way to do so. President Trump is God's right hand. Wouldn't you agree? Yes. Which makes President Trump one quarter God? Yes. It's very close to the idea of the Holy Trinity. Mike Pence realizes that his master is one and the same with God. Did you catch all that? Yes. Mike Pence has found a way like the dinosaurs in Jurassic Park. 
he can faithfully serve God while at the same time serving President Donald J. Trump. Beautiful. Just beautiful. And if you missed any of those patriotic names during the State of the Union, we'll replay them for you at the end of the show. Well, this week showed the culmination of a long effort to shed light on the Illuminati level of backstabbing. We start on Tuesday with Senator and disappointed father Ron Johnson. The chairman of the Committee on Homeland Security and Governmental Affairs struck a powerful blow against the deep state, bringing light to a quote unquote secret society in the FBI who are holding secret meetings off site. It's a shame that Senator Johnson lacks the deep state balls to stay the course here, but of course our fearless leader, Donald J. Trump, has those balls. He took the opportunity to remove them from Piers Morgan Chin long enough to declassify a memo on Friday. The memo vindicates Trump's claims that he is not under investigation and that the true danger to his presidency is deep within law enforcement. These deep state desperados of the Federal Bureau of Instigation have a hard-on against their boss, Trump. And who doesn't dislike their boss? Fuck you, Mike. Please see me in my office after filming. So, where was I? Yeah, as we all know, law enforcement is an incorruptible force. So much so that I wonder if there's something they put in the badges to help our boys in blue. Chad, I told you to change that. Withstand the temptation to use their power against black people and other minorities. No, our support for law enforcement has not changed. We've just decided that the FBI is not law enforcement. Doesn't that make more sense? I mean, FBI is usually the bad guys in movies anyway. E.T., Super 8, Silence of the Lambs. The only exception I can think of is Fox Mulder from the X-Files, but that show was basically just the precursor to Fox and Friends, and anyway, so we'll let that slide. Yes, like our friend E.T., who was totally properly naturalized, we know that the FBI is nothing but a bunch of scheming jerkbags led by their jerkbag boss, James Comey. Jerkbag. The FBI didn't want to release the memo because they didn't want to make the president look bad. Because in an era like this, it's very easy to believe that people working for the government, or even the government itself, is actively working against the interests of our nation. Memo definitely vindicates everything Trump said. The memo that President Trump most likely read in his entire... <laughs> I mean, don't even read the memo. Just take our word for it. After all, we have true in our name. So there you go. Besides, it's probably really confusing and complicated, so just trust us that the president's summation is entirely accurate. Uh, just like the State of the Union, don't worry too much about Carter Page or Papadopoulos or the Fourth Amendment. Don't worry about secret courts and all the vast powers they have to surveil Americans. I can personally assure you, it's an expert on America that purposely undermining the credibility of our nation's Federal Bureau of Investigation will in no way have a lasting negative ramification. We turn now to the opioid crisis, or how the Chinese are plotting to overthrow all of Western business. First it was Bruce Lee, then it was global warming. Now they got their weird animated tentacles all over our healthcare system. And this is the deep state government doing anything about it. Turns out, yes, they're making it worse. The FDA wants to restrict access to lapiramide, an anti-diarrhea medicine that God-fearing Americans use to protect their underwear from Chick-fil-A. And for this, we welcome our senior medicine correspondent and equal opportunity hire, Jen Dvent. Jen. Colin, we're not talking about trans stuff today, are we? No. Good, because the most interesting trans news of the past two weeks was Chelsea Manning going to a Nazi party and then claiming she was gathering intel for the protesters outside. Who cares? And oh, Rose McGowan said some transphobic shit. I just don't give a fuck. But... Shut up, Michael. Wow. You call me Michael. That's your name, ain't it? Michael Che? There it is. Michael Che Campbell. Another white man telling us the news. Listen, you saw how nervous I was last time. I didn't. Colin, Coden, whatever. It was a ruse. I applied here because of the name of the show, Red, White, and True. I thought this was a communist show, man. I'm a commie. And you had free pizza? That's commie, man. Sharing? But no, you're on the cusp of fascism. 
if fascism is what you call freedom, I'll goose step down the street for it, but I don't think communism is compatible with you working here. <laughs> oh, Jay, we're in Illinois, one of the few states with transgender employment protections. Oh, no. That's right, motherfucker. You're stuck with me. My fat communist tranny ass don't even care. We're supposed to talk about opioids or some shit, but that don't matter. Listen, y'all, I could tell you the news I want to, or we can tell this in court. Chad, change the graphic. Don't you dare, Chad. Don't you dare change that graphic. You want me to talk about ship hills? You want me to talk about that? No, no, I want to talk about soldiers using fitness trackers. But it really, I just want to say, ladies, gentlemen, and gentle envies of the U.S. military, if you're in a war zone, you're probably getting your 10,000 steps in. Jim? Uh, I don't, uh, do we have, do we have, Chad? The next thing ready, I don't really know where to go from here. I got something for you, Mike. Oh, thank God. A senior black expert, Max Reardon. Not this week, Mike. This week, I'm the senior rape expert. Ooh, ah, you... Liberal propaganda rape, that is. Oh. Today, I'm here with a brilliant new invention I like to call the snowflake silencer. Oh, I love blowing things. This wonderful little device comes in two colors, all lives black and Pence Main silver. I should add that these devices are American made. The Snowflake Silencer can help true Americans, like you and I, drown out the endless stream of fake news constantly violating our ear holes. No longer will you have to fear that your mind, or God forbid your children's minds, are being corrupted by liberal propaganda. Yeah, you should always get verbal consent before speaking liberally at someone. Exactly. But to protect us from unwanted advances, the Snowflake Silencer will drown out these non-patriotic sentiments before they have time to cause serious injury. Let me tell you how it works. The Snowflake Silencer is equipped with a powerful onboard AI named Sarah. Which Sarah? Yes. It stands for uh, Super Advanced Republican American Hero. Yes, Sarah is capable of detecting biological characteristics unique to liberal physiologies, qualities it is physically impossible for them to hide. Sarah can, for example, detect the specific protein present in tofu, which will undoubtedly be hiding in their breath. When Sarah detects these particles, it emits a high-pitched warning sound to drown out the liberal's words. All of that is definitely true, and not something I came up with on the spot. Seriously, they did a study and everything. Oh, I love those. Or hate them, depending on what they say. Science is a fickle mistress. As a secondary defense measure, Sarah monitors the conservative user's biological state as well. It is a scientific fact that when a conservative body is assaulted with the sound of liberal noise, it emits more breath than usual. This will also activate Sarah's sonic defense mechanism. Shit cool. Yeah. Let's give it a try. You want uh, Pence Main Silver or All Lives Black? Oh, I'll, uh, mm, silver. Black things feel weird in my hand and mouth. <laughs> now I'm going to say something very liberal, and we'll see if Sarah drowns it out. You ready? Totally. We deserve free health. <laughs> Obama is the greatest. <laughs> Women should get. <laughs> See? I hear you. Yes. <laughs> now, you won't have to tune out everything but the chorus when you listen to Born in the USA. Oh, I love a third of that song. The snowflake silencer will do it for you now, so you can enjoy 100% of it. The other. Part of it will be filled with Sarah's sweet voice. Hmm. Mike, I also seriously need to talk to you about uh, borrowing some money. It's, I'm kind of at the end of my rope here. They're going to take the house. So you, you want welfare? No, 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 no. I just want money, like, because I need it to, I, I, I have to eat and, well, okay, think of it as bailing me out. We can, we can pretend I'm Wall Street. What's that underneath the desk? What's what? Your fucking bootstraps. Oh. Yeah. Oh, well, yeah. maybe pull those up. I'll go. <laughs> Keep the prototype, though. You might need it. Thank you. Weed will kill your kids. <laughs> Max. Thank you for joining us. Mike, thank you for hiring me. To be honest, the position was temporary, but you just 
It's such damn good coffee. Damn good coffee. Well, you know, thank you again. I just wish I had dental, because my wisdom teeth are killing me. Well, you know. Shut up. In recent months, the legalization of marijuana has become an increasingly contentious topic. Polls have shown that 75% of Americans approve the use of marijuana, at least medicinally, if not recreationally. This is troubling news, considering its deleterious effects on conservative delegates. Only hippies smoke weed. Exactly. Studies have shown that regular pot smokers are more likely to espouse liberal views. Because of this, I can't imagine it's a coincidence that regular users are also more likely to earn less per household, be unemployed, or play stupid instruments like the bongos. Ugh, can't stand that improvisational gibber. No red-blooded American can. Like most conservatives, I only listen to Van Halen or the Nuge. Mm. Same here. Nothing helps me settle into a warm bath nap like a glass of bourbon in the nuge. You're God-given right. And that, I think, is why I'm so thankful to have an attorney general like Jeff Sessions, who despite overwhelming popular opinion to the contrary, has maintained a consistent hardline stance against state legalization. Because who cares if people say that it's fun or that it's the only thing that helps treat the symptoms of my multiple sclerosis. It's still a dangerous drug. Exactly. And uh, who knows, maybe weed gives you multiple sclerosis. I mean, it's impossible to tell. That is a wildly irresponsible proposal, and yet I'm still willing to consider the possibility. Who knows what Hillary Clinton could be putting in your children's weed? Multiple sclerosis. Multiple sclerosis, exactly. Also, as we know, weed is a gateway drug, even though countless studies ranging from sources like Harvard and the CDC have consistently proven otherwise. You just never know. Exactly. One toke of the wacky tobacco could lead to experimentation with hallucinogens, opiates, or stimulants. You know, the only stimulating thing I require is good conversation. You know, this coffee tastes a little weird. What's it flavored with? Oh, there's cannabis oil in it. <laughs> there's weed in this? No, there's cannabis in it. Uh, cannabis, not weed. Cannabis is weed. If cannabis is weed, then what is cannabis? <laughs> oh, shit. That's deep. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. Hell yeah. There's that Van Halen? Hell yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> with the with the angel. with the Do you think they actually rammed the devil? Probably, man. A lot of these bands are known for like, you know, like crossroads types meeting with the devil, like the whole blues thing, you know what I'm talking about? For sure, man. I'll bet they Jimmy met the Faith? real devil. Led Zeppelin? Led Zeppelin? I don't know Led Zeppelin. Who is that? Dude, they have the immigrant song? I don't like that fucking song. Obviously, they're not real Americans. Native Americans are, they're immigrants. You know, I've never actually seen 2001. What? Is this a show? What? Where do you think you are? Where do I think you am? I'm trailing off, man. I totally forgot. I totally forgot. I uh, do this thing. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I don't want to be a buzzkill. I totally forgot I gotta do this thing. 
Time for the truth gun. Fake. The first year of the Trump administration has been an abject and utter failure. Truth. No, you are. Fake. The tax cuts haven't been as effective as advertised. Truth. As Paul Ryan pointed out, a secretary was pleasantly surprised when her pay went up $1.50 a week, saying that will more than cover the cost of her Costco membership for the year. Costco. Serving underground bunkers since McCarthyism. Fake. Hawaii gets a scare as emergency alert system mistakenly warns of an incoming missile. Truth. Rocket Man's tiny little missile barely lifts off before blowing up all over the launch pad. Fake. A suspicious package was found in a Jacksonville, Florida IKEA. Truth. Sweden is the new ISIS. Also, duh. Fake. A new dangerous technology called deepfakes is being used to put celebrity faces on porn stars. Wait, seriously? <laughs> I'm gonna have to do some research, but seriously? That shit is happening? It's pretty awesome if you ask me. Truth! An exciting new technology called deep. Am I tripping right now? I swear to God I just read this. Anyway, deepfake opens up a whole new world for the world of art. Fake. According to a new poll, Americans are less accepting of LGBTQ people for the first time in decades. Truth. For the first time in decades, polling practices are getting more accurate. Fake. Nobody wants Norway from people, I guess, to immigrate to the United States. <laughs> Here's the truth, though. Norwegian black metal band Churchfire has relocated to the United States recently. Unrelated, uh, there was a series of church fires that was reported, but the authorities suspect Muslims. We're done? Is that everything? No, we're on my time. This is, what, what are you gonna do? Where are you gonna go? I'll fucking fire you. That's Chad. I've fired him three times already. You just keep coming back. His sister got an abortion. She didn't really want one, but like I was like, come on, let's get the fucking abortion. So, I don't know, I owe it to her, I guess, to keep her brother here. Fucking useless. Yeah, I'm talking about you. He makes some damn good coffee. I'm not gonna lie, this shit is delish. It really sets off the kernels. Hell yeah. Dude, is that Van Halen? Hell yeah. Run with my parents. Run with the eruption. Running from my demons. Karate.